Hello. We, uh, we're we going to look at the skull of an adult. And uh, we're also going to look at the skull of a fetus. And uh, one of the things we're going to do in this video is we're going to compare the sutures. So on the fetal skull, we, uh, we can see what is commonly called uh, the soft spots or also known as fontanelles. Uh, the fontanelles basically represents fibrous connective tissue and uh, after birth the fibrous connective tissue gradually is replaced by a bone tissue. And that's one of the methods in our body where we uh, form bone tissue from fibrous tissue. So uh, the fontanelles, when we look at the adult skull, uh, we notice that instead of soft tissue, we have fibrous type of joints. And... Uh, uh, on the on the skull in here, we're going to identify uh, four of these sutures. And uh, so, first we're going to identify the bones. Uh, this represents the frontal bone. And the green, green bones in here represents the two parietal bones. So, the suture that we find in here, in between the parietal bone and uh, the frontal bone uh, that is the coronal suture then we find another suture which is between the two parietal bones that is the sagittal suture if we uh, turn the skull around and we look at the dorsal side of the skull. The blue bone here is the occipital bone. So we have a suture in here in between the occipital bone and between the parietal bones. Uh, that suture is called lambdoid suture. If we take a look at the lateral view of the skull we notice this brown bone in here which is the temporal bone and we notice that there is a suture between the temporal bone and between the parietal bone and that is the squamous suture so those are four of the major sutures that you can identify on the skull.